What's up guys, it's Aloha Rises and I've been very much enjoying this beautiful event called the Springtide Bloom Event. Um, you know, as you can see, there's so many amazing warming colors in this event. It's just representing what spring is. Um, spring is the season of new beginnings and also growth, what I can think of. Um, and first off, I want to do like a guide because I've been enjoying it as well. And I just want to make it a little bit more easier for you guys to understand what to do in this new event and what you can actually look forward to. But first off, you can go to each town and gather your rewards. It's a daily thing that you can do and you get all these types of items that you can use within the event. Um, you want to hit these, um, you want to also hit these springtide villages. There's four of them. It's located at Monarch Bluffs, Everfall, Brightwood, and Weaver's Fan. And check this out, it's so beautiful right there. That's what you can that's what happens every time you get your um dailies at the villages, the springtime villages. So what you can get from these um dailies is you can get diamond gypsums, coins, gold, dyes, and also buffs. And one of those buffs can help you double the amount of items that you can collect in the springtime um what's it called? Wispy Bloom um uh places to gather these um these things to get coins and that last item that you, that i just missed was uh the wispy spritz and those are used also for the event um you can get those for free and you also can craft those so that you can farm more and more for coins but we'll get to that soon but first of all every time in an event you want to go to the spot where you want to start the quest and in this case you want to go to the springtime villages you can start at any one of them and this is what i'm doing right here i just started the quest um this, i i know i recommend you guys listen into the um into the voiceover and listen to like the 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 lore it's pretty cool and it also gives you an understanding of what you can do in the event as well so it's you know it's actually good good listening <laughs> so go ahead and check that out um so right here we got that started and we checked out the uh, shop so the way to unlock this is you have to get reputation and this is the overall shop right there so to get this reputation you want to hit these places and right here is an example of where all the spots you can hit so there's a lot of places you can go to um you know so you won't get like you know it's, it's not hard to farm this event there's a lot of spots which is good you can check this out in the neuro database just type in wispy blooms so if this is the first time I hit one of these Wispy Bloom spots for the event and I thought you had to collect all of these, um, these, uh, what do you call that? You have to just collect these things, these Wispy Spritz, like, you have to like, I don't know, I thought you had, you had to plant it all in and that's how you do the event, but I was just wasting my Wispy Spritz. Uh, and, and I thought, you know, I had to kill them as well, these, uh, wasps. So I had the wrong idea what to do and I ended up figuring out what to do. Um, you know, you have to lure them when you planted that wispy spritz in order to um, dispel them and they'll disappear. So it, the most efficient way is to do this three times and it'll dispel those wispy wasps and then you collect the wispy bloom. And that's how you get the reputation for the event, which is cool. And then you get these wispy bloom petals, which can be converted into coins for the event. So just remember, I wasted all of those wispy uh, spritz, but... No worries, because you can go to the spot, the um, the crafting station for this event, and you can craft more of those, which is needed. And you can do as much as you can. So there's no really no limit for every day. You can do as much as you can, and, and um, you know, with the amount of uh, what do you call that materials that you have to make more of these wispy spritz. So it's a nice it's a nice event to do. There's no limit per day um, for that part. So there's two ways you can check the to to find these spots. As one is right there, you can see you can see those really nice rainbow-looking halo, and that's where the events will be located at. As well as checking out the map, it'll show those icons for the wispy bloom fields. And so a reminder again, three times we'll be able to dispel these wispy wasps, and then you will be able to collect the wispy bloom, the flower. And sometimes they do drop these these wispy wasps goo and those you can convert those into the premium coins which is really good because those are the you, you have to collect a lot of the event coins and convert those into the premium ones and one of the biggest tips i like to bring out is that if you are within gr a group within the event the best way to do it is to gather together 
because then the wasp would spread out and you it kind of wastes the time so the best way is to gather together and hit the same uh wispy spritz and i experimented and the three ways to get the credit is you know plant the wispy spritz hit the wasps and also collect the the flower as well at the at, at the end of it so don't be like those guys right there where they uh, you know they're also spread out and then you know they didn't know what to do that was at the beginning of the event when people didn't want to do and the best way to really get the most coins out of this event is using the springtide wafer um to get this springtide wafer buff you can get it from your daily rewards and also by purchasing it from the event shops and what it really does is that it doubles the amount of um wispy bloom petals that you get from the event um, after collecting the flower so normally you would get seven but after using that buff you can get 14 which is pretty good you get you get more coins at the end of the day so i hope you guys enjoyed that it was really good information hopefully you guys were able to gather that information you can go back to the video more to check out what's going on so over here you can convert the coins which is really nice just go back to the, the village you can get springtide tokens and also premium tokens which is good this is good for the shop because the shop does have really good items you are doing well truth seeker continue to craft spritz and find wispy bloom patches remember true freedom lies in the delicate petals of that ethereal flower a celebration of nature when the wispy blooms appear on a turn it's when we can harmonize with the rhythms of the world and achieve peace and harmony. Harmonizing with the spirits of nature is both liberating and beneficial. It can shield your mind and soul. Imagine being free of the fear of corruption or of becoming lost. This freedom is bliss. The mysteries of the wispy bloom must be studied and understood. As the bloom herald, I seek to guide others to these truths. We should all marvel at the ethereal beauty surrounding us. Alright guys, it's the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Hopefully it was very informative. Um very easy, very easily understandable. Um and I hope you guys enjoyed this event. Uh you know, have fun. Season of new new beginnings, so enjoy yourself and Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. Very much appreciate it. It will help me out. Love you guys.